So in this video we will work with uh, a p factor. So the last factor, which we parameter we should uh, that we should uh, make in order to calculate Russell model. So p factor is the cons uh, represents the conservation pra uh, practice factor that uh, is needed to protect from water erosion and so and as well as the wind erosion. So there are several uh, ways to protect uh, our soil from erosion, uh, especially in agricultural areas. So this can be terracing, strip contouring, um, the, uh, strip cropping and contouring and terracing, and as well as uh, make planting trees across the agricultural areas. But this is done do, uh, for, to protect from wind erosion, while terracing and strip contouring, uh, strip cropping and contouring are done to protect agricultural areas from water erosion due to irrigation practices. So uh, there are several ways to find, uh, to make a p-factor. Uh, the most reliable one is to have a, a field observation, field data or, or for your study area. And in case if you don't have a field data, probably you have some literature resources uh, to find out which conservation practices are applied for your study area to protect from wind water erosion. So. Uh, you should remember that uh, conservation practices are mostly in major cases are applied for to agricultural air areas and uh, it's very seldom applied for to protect uh, rangelands and pastures mostly artificial pastures and in other cases in other land cover classes uh, uh, there are no uh, application of uh, conservation practices so this is mostly concerns agricultural areas and uh, this is a table made by Shin and Pesaran in 1999. Uh, so you can see here that uh, P factor, this are P factor depends on slope as well as uh, type of conservation practice factor. So the more uh, terracing is very uh, good to protect from water erosion. Uh, and also street uh, cropping is also good, contouring also uh, mostly uh, applied because it's cheap but it's not very good as terracing to protect so, from water erosion. Um, but not all areas are, not all countries have the possibility to protect from uh, water erosion uh, because uh, it's expensive to build terraces and other conservation practices. So mostly uh, they build, uh, plant trees across uh, agricultural areas um, to protect from wind erosion. But we cannot apply, uh, we cannot take into account wind erosion because Russell model uh, deals only with uh, water erosion. So oh, the, the two things we need here is slope and uh, land cover classes. So in case there is no information about the uh, conservation practices from your study area if, in case you don't have a, a field data or literature resources there is one way to check this out uh, you can go to, you open ArcGIS map um, and just click here add data add data and uh, here is the base map see uh, that uh, you, sh you can all open the blank map so I prefer to choose this imagery, first one, first base map. So it's a high precision satellite image. Uh, and you can we can just manually scan our study area if there any conservation practice is applied. So my map is downloaded. You should have a high speed internet because it's a lot of data to be downloaded. It's a global map, base map, very high precision resolution. So I just uh, zoom into my study area and uh, you can also add your uh, study area shape file. Uh, here is our study area and we can make it uh, hollow outline width 2 and now we can check here is our study area we can scan the agricultural area see that mostly uh, this area our study area is predominantly agricultural so uh, let's zoom in to to our areas and just uh, uh, scan our area for uh, is there any conservation practice so we can see here that it's uh, No terracing at least applied, no terracing and the crop 
there are furrows see that vertical furrows though also now contouring and as well as probably some strip cropping but it's hard to find strip cropping do uh, on, on the satellite image so there is all definitely the trees uh, across the agricultural areas but uh, we cannot take into account trees because uh, trees are protect from wind erosion not water erosion water erosion is within uh, the uh, way to protect water erosion should be within this agricultural field this parcel so uh, uh, we cannot take into account uh, trees but uh, you should uh, one should be taken into account that uh, wind erosion can amplify water, uh, water erosion as well so uh, planting trees at, at some point somehow can also uh, reduce uh, or alleviate uh, not reduce but uh, alleviate uh, water erosion so we can see here that uh, no terracing and contouring applied here and strip cropping as well for our study area and uh, we need in other case we need uh, there's another table uh, made by with and smith in 1978 so we can see here that the for agricultural lands if there is no protection uh, according to the slope the p factor varies and for other lands is uh, uh, they applied uh, they assigned a p factor one but it's not actually very correct we can also apply this one as uh, this formula but it takes into account only slope uh, regardless of the land cover use but it's also very important to take into account land cover use so uh, either we cannot apply this table for our map because there is no protection uh, for uh, within our study area and we cannot apply this table as well because uh, for instance, uh, water areas doesn't have erosion, urban areas doesn't have erosion because there, there is no soil in water and urban uh, constructions are uh, just cover soil and this, it cannot exist soil over there and we cannot apply this formula as well because it, it takes into account only slope factors. So I made my own table to, to protect uh, to assign p factor values according to the slope and land cover so there are land cover six land cover classes you can see here and uh, according to the slope in percents the p factor varies for instance for agriculture i took from this table from this table uh, p factor values but slightly changed because uh, for high slope areas uh, p factor uh, significantly reduces because agriculture cannot protect from a water erosion if there is high slope so a water is always zero urban area is always zero regardless of uh, the slope and uh, forest areas are very good to protect from uh, water erosion especially in low slope areas and in high slope areas uh, they're um, uh, moderately protect from uh, wind erosion. Water erosion is actually should be 0 0.5. So rangeless also good. They close to agriculture, so they don't have furrows and empty uh, lands. Uh, uh, mostly uh, they are almost always co covered by small percent of vegetation. So so the in the high altitudes in high slope areas they also very weak to pro to protect from. Uh, water erosion and the bare soil is almost cannot protect from water erosion at all because it doesn't cover it by vegetation so uh, in high, uh, high slope areas it's zero uh, it's moderately high 0.75 so we will should make this table so for this we need land cover classes and slope in percents uh, for our study area so uh, let's check go back again to our uh, map so uh, we can see again scan uh, so you, you should have very high uh, internet speed just to uh, scan over this uh, base map from a world imagery so we can see that almost all agricultural areas the same they protected by trees from wind erosion and no protection measures as far as I'm concerned uh, 
applied, implemented for within agricultural fields, uh, on the agricultural fields, fields. So these are irrigation channels. So, so uh, we need we will apply uh, this formula, uh, this uh, table for our uh, to to find out p factor value uh, p factor map. And first, we will uh, classify our study area uh, using supervised classification tool. Hey guys, if you like the video, please consider supporting the channel by purchasing online courses via my Udemy's profile, JS Lab. Here you can find multiple courses regarding JS remote sensing. The link to the profile is below.